Hello friends. Happy Thursday. Hope you're all doing well today. Got my um, Bari pipe that I'm smoking Haunted Bookshop in and as I was getting things together to do this video I let it go out so I gotta relight it. Uh, Thursday not Wednesday. Wednesday was terribly hectic so here I am. Hope you're all having a good week. Mine has been very good so far. It's early afternoon, uh, about 1.30. Just taking a short break uh, to check in, say hello, show off my pipe, and <laughs> I guess I'm not really going to show off. I feel like I'm doing uh, an ad campaign for Larry Blackett, but isn't that cool? That's the cannon on the, uh, the little base, and that's just, uh, it's, it's very, very substantial. And it makes, you know, it's a great paperweight. Like if you, if you smoke at a desk where you got any papers, you can set this down. It's not going to go anywhere. And then the uh, cannon just removes for easy tamping. It, it's a great setup. So Larry did a fantastic job. He does a fantastic job on everything. And he just released his Halloween series of tampers over on Instagram. Really cool. He's got Dracula, the Brides of Dracula. Um, a cross and a um, a stake, uh, you know, through the heart kind of stake, not a T-bone stake. So I had to show that off. I was so happy when that base came because I had um, a little brass cannon that looked exactly like this, but it was mounted on a cast iron black base. And uh, it, it's amazing. It, it's like I'm transported back to my childhood. And lots of happy memories when I look at that. Ah. So what is going on? Um, this Friday, I was supposed to do a show with uh, Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper. Unfortunately, Mel uh, had a change in plans, so we're rescheduling him. Uh, I have the date, I forget when he's rescheduled for, but uh, it's not too far in the future. And I did get Jeremy Reeves rescheduled, so he's he's back on the schedule, not until January, but you know we, we're looking forward to talking to him. I was trying to get a replacement for Mel. Haven't heard back from him. You know who you are. <laughs> get in touch, because I'd, like I'd love to have you on. Um, so it's going to just be uh, another... Um, another virtual pipe club on, uh, on Friday, which is always fun. I may be at the bottom of the bowl here. I was smoking for quite a bit before I uh, started up this video. I'm working. And that's one of the reasons I'm here. Sorry about that. The furnace came on. Uh, it's cold enough here. We haven't switched over to heat yet, but it's getting cold enough. It's uh, it's in the 50s. Well, it's going to get up to 70 today, but it was in the 50s this morning. And it was quite quite a bit of a chill in the air. It's damp, too, which doesn't help. Anyway, furnace went on. Uh, what was I talking about? Ah, I, I, I was just saying I'm on this side of the shop today because I just, I had everything set up. I haven't moved anything since the last live stream, and I thought, well, I'm going to need to set it up tomorrow. I'll just, I'll just stay over here and do it, which is fine. Yeah, just change of scenery. If there's folks out there that only watch my midweek videos, this is the other side of the shop. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm in a bit of a goofy mood today. But uh, Pipe's been good to me today. Got me through a lot of meetings this morning. And uh, I am now. You'd, you'd think during the furnace break I would have taken the time to repack the pipe. But I was greedy. I wanted to get all the way to the bottom of the bowl. There are no pipe cleaners in the ashtray, I promise. So we will repack it with Haunted Bookshop again. I've really fallen into a, uh, sorry, that was probably loud and unnecessary. I've really fallen into a definitive pattern now with tobacco. So I've caught a hole in the morning. That's usually the first bowl. Then I switch to Haunted Bookshop. Sometime, yeah, maybe around 3 o'clock, I will try something different. Um, and I got a whole drawer full of something different over there. And that's just for a variety. And then I'll usually have 
some haunted bookshop after dinner, and the last bowl of the night lately has been a uh, gentleman caller. I had a craving for some deer tongue recently and got some gentleman caller from uh, from uh, the Pipe Nook, Eddie Gray, and uh, I've had crooner before, but crooner's out of stock everywhere, and I'm afraid we're, we're going to lose the deer tongue blends because uh, apparently there's been some kerfuffle about deer tongue being a health problem. And guys smoked deer tongue blends and lived into their 90s for many, many years, and uh, now all of a sudden we need to be protected from it. Yeah, you know that story. Uh, what else? I, I wanted to show you something. I've been working on these. Um, uh, this is a disappointment, I have to admit. But I wanted to get your thoughts. Well, not really. Uh, <laughs> I'd like your thoughts, but I don't think it's it's going to change anything. So I've been working on these. These were going to be Halloween stems. And I can only work on these when I get some spare time. So I actually started these like September 1st. Um, so I've been working on them for a long time. Uh, it usually takes me, to make a stem like this would take about two days of, uh, not, not constant time, but it takes me about two days to get through the process. So I've only been working on these little bits at a time, and I just have not been happy with this particular acrylic. Um, there's, been, there's been inclusions in it. Uh, it just isn't shaping the way I want it to shape. Uh, the, the slots aren't cutting right. So, I mean, there you can see an example of I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but the end of the stem and the slot, and I just, I, and somehow when I was doing the lathe work, because I was trying to do multiple things at the same time, I cut these in a way that I could not put a fishtail on them. So in my opinion, they just look a little odd. So these are probably not going to get finished. I might finish one up for myself and, I don't know, throw the rest of them in a drawer. But uh, it's unfortunate. I wanted to have some Halloween stems. I that would be fun. Oh well, such is life. Um, I got lucky with the inclusions. Where's that one? Yeah. This one here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but right along that line that's kind of swooping up, there's a circle that's kind of off color. That was an air bubble in the acrylic that just happened to be sitting at a point where I, I couldn't go any lower, you know, because that's got to match up with the the shank of the cob. And so I filled it with acrylic, and it, it looks pretty awful. But th this, no, I've been really lucky with acrylic. This has not happened to me before, but this batch just had lots of air bubbles in them. Fortunately, most of them have been in places where I could sand uh, or, or file below them and they don't appear on the final stem but this one this would not have gone out anyway the others I'm, I'm just not happy with the, the overall shape and stuff so yeah c'est la vie I suppose beyond that things are going really well in the shop I've got a um, a filter conversion that I'm working on. Uh, just just got started on that. So that should take a couple of days. Uh, I'll definitely be able to tie it up over this weekend. And the other project that it's ongoing has been a long-term sort of experimental project I'm doing with a friend who wanted me to try to replicate the Konex filter system that Vaughn uses. And that's not as easy as it sounds. Um, I, I thought it would be a relatively easy process, and I have been able to make Konex-like filter chambers, but they don't hold the filter, and I can't figure out why. I've measured them to the best of my ability. I've measured off of, he sent me a Vaughn uh, pipe that I could use to measure, and I've measured as best as I can that, that chamber and the shape of it and I try to reproduce that and it just doesn't work. So I decided to <laughs> buy a Vaughn pipe. This is gonna really upset you Vaughn fans. I bought one uh, off eBay, relatively cheap. It was used um, 
And I'm going to cut the stem in half so that I can see what's going on in there. And uh, yeah, I can always make, if the briar is good, I'll make another stem for it. It's not a big deal. I don't know why I'm having trouble getting this one going. So yeah, that's been that's been going on. It's been fun. Once I finish those two projects, I will have nothing uh, in the shop. I will be completely at ground zero, which is what I wanted to do. And I've got a list of folks that have gotten in touch saying, can you do this, can you do that? And I told them all there's going to be a delay. I'm going to put you on a waiting list. And now what I'm going to start doing is contacting that first person. Once these things are ready to go in the mail, not until then, I'll contact that first person and say, send me your pipe. And I'm just going to roll through that list that way and continue to add to the end of it. I'm just more comfortable with you holding your pipe while I get caught up than me holding your pipe while I'm trying to get caught up. I just, I just think it's a better, better option. And it also allows me to move a little bit more slowly on things, uh, which is something I want to do because i got some other things. I, I talked about this before. You don't need to hear this. I think I've talked to you enough. Friday night, just me. We'll have fun. Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Go to my channel. I'll, I'll put a um, I'll put a placeholder in uh, later today, so you'll have that. You can ask for the notification and all that good stuff. Beyond that, folks, I hope your week is going really well and you're looking forward to the weekend. I sure am. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Take care, guys.